Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Today I'm going to share a secret with you. How to tell if you are a true, real, bona fide homesteader. Many of you watching probably already know what I'm about to say because it's so obvious. So what is it you ask? To know if you're a true, real homesteader, you must answer this question. One question. Have you ever carried a baby chick in your bra? If the answer is yes, you're officially a homesteader. So unfortunately, what that means is when I checked on the baby chicks this morning, one of them wasn't really doing well at all. It had somehow got wet, like got in the water somehow. Like there's not that much room for them to get in and they're pretty big now, so I don't know what happened, but it was wet and it was off to the side from the other ones and it was cold. So I'm hoping that it's just gotten a chill and that's why it's not really moving around. So I'm trying to warm it up fast in my bra. So that's what I'm doing. Cause that's what we do on the homestead. And another part of homesteading is the loss. Unfortunately, the little chick didn't make it through morning chores. It was nice and warm and cozy when it passed at least, but I kind of knew it wasn't going to make it because it wasn't even really opening its eyes or anything, so. But I gave it my best shot and that is that. So I just have to move on, pass it, and not let it get to me. It always bothers you, no matter what. No matter if it's just um, one little chick or one chicken or one goat or whatever it is, it's always bothersome. So, Liam, Liam, you're dirty. You got a boo-boo? What you got? I don't see it. There's no boo-boo. You trying to find one? You're silly. So, we will just keep moving on with our day. Action. Okay, let's put the chicks back in the brooder that we just cleaned out. Nice and fresh and clean. They're gonna like that. That's pretty. What color legs? Blue. Alright, so that's definitely an Americana. I wonder if the cream leg bar have any chance of being blue legged? I don't think so. Our cream leg bar has yellow legs, right? They are so happy. Fresh bedding and fresh clean food and water. They are ready to move out of this brooder. That is for sure. We are upgrading all the animals to new fencing and new cages this weekend. So they are going to upgrade to the big playpen brooder. Luckily, the poultry ban has been lifted in the state of Georgia. So it is now safe to transfer birds. And we are going to try to sell these ones. Not all of them, of course, but we're going to try to sell some for sure. So we have quite a few of the Morons Rhode Island Red Cross. We have quite a few Easter Eggers. There's a cream leg bar or two in there. And one Spark Hona. Unfortunately, we lost one. I forgot to tell you guys about that. It was just dead one morning, shortly after they had hatched. And the Bielfelders, which look just like the Americana and cream leg bar, so we don't know which one is which. I asked the, um, the breeder for pictures of the chicks that she had but she sent me a picture from the internet so I still don't know because internet pics are not going to show the variations in one flock from the other. Oh my sweet pansy. Aren't you the sweetest goat that ever did live? Your babies are just about the sweetest things in the whole wide world. Yes. Oh, I love you. You're such a good mama. You're such a good girl. 
Girl, why don't they nurse on that side? You look like you need to be milked out again. Babies, I told you to eat on that side. Hmm, sweet mama. I didn't mean to wake you up from your nap. I'll let you go back to sleep. I kid you not, Shady and Willow literally lost their babies. Their babies were sleeping in the hay under the shelter. And these two girls <laughs> were running around out here bellowing and the babies were sleeping through it. And they were freaking out until I came over. And when the babies heard my voice, they woke up and started responding with their voice. Oh, this is so funny. Silly babies, you worried your mamas. <laughs> so funny. Cute baby.